So the purpose of this video is to compare the conditions of a salt shed uh, maybe a month or two months ago to the conditions of that salt shed today. Now, typically we would have surveyed uh, known points within or known targets within this salt shed but in this case we did not do that. Uh, so what I've done is I've tagged individual notes inside of Recap 360 Ultimate and I've gotten the coordinates of each one of these notes. Now the notes correspond to the top of my entry walls uh, in three points. Point one is here, point two is here, and point three you can see is over here on the other side of the shed. Um, I've written those points down, uh, point one, two, and three, a corresponding notepad, and now we can go into Re Recap 360 to upload some of our new photos. Now with the Recap 360 service, we can upload photos directly from my desktop or I can pull them from A360 Drive. In this case, they're actually already on A360 Drive. So I'm going to pull those images off of A360 Drive folder that they're located in. You can see here they've actually already um, been run through another project. So they've been, the, the fisheye has been pulled out. Uh, they were done by GoPro. Once I have those photos in this project, we're going to go into our survey settings, and that's where we need to tag each one of those known points. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a, a location where I know I have those um, points visible inside of one of uh, my images. In this case, um, both of these images have points one and point two in them. So point one was the top of this wall. And you can see that automatically once I've tagged that, it goes over to point two. There's point two. Now if I go to this image, point two is still highlighted. So if I were to tag the top of that wall, we're good to go. You'll notice that if I were to pick another point, um, point three is highlighted in my image here. So I'm going to select point one. It's automatically going to scroll over to wherever point one was in the other image. And now I can actually tag point one in this image as well. So once I've done that, I need to tag those two points in two more images. So now that we have all three points, uh, that have been tagged inside of our images. You notice that the points now show up as green on all four quadrants. That means that we have them tagged in at least four images each, and that's good. Now we need to add the coordinates. So when I hover over one of these points, it gives me a little coordinate icon with an X, Y, and Z. Now I can change that to ECEF, LLA. Um, in this case, we're just gonna keep it as X, Y, and Z. Um, and once I know, I'm gonna just go into that uh, text file and we're gonna copy the X, Y, and Z out of the text file and insert it directly into our, um, into our Recap 360 session. So you can see here, there's the Y, and now we just need the Z. So I'm going to do that with my other two points. You can see here, if I select point two, I've actually already done that for point two. Uh, it's going to show up with the appropriate coordinates, and the same thing is true for point three. Once you've inserted all of your coordinates, that, what that did was it aligned these pictures so that when the Recap 360 process is finished, the point cloud generated from it and or mesh will be automatically rotated and scaled to the exact coordinates of our original scan. So we're going to go to settings next. We'll name this um, salt shed. I'm going to use an ultra method of 
uh, quality and we're going to make sure we pick RCS as an export format. Nothing else here is needed. Uh, smart crop, smart texture, um, and um, nadir optimization. None of those things really matter for this. We're going to say create. I can go back here to my dashboard now and it's going to process and email me when it's done.